Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to this tutorial. My name is John Mary Mokisa. I'm a live audio engineer. I am also, uh, well, I'm learning uh, to be a producer or a studio engineer. I love mixing. I love so many kinds of music. In this video, I'm going to be covering the concept of a subgroup and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a subgroup in, um, in a mix or when you're uh, rather mixing down uh, a song or number of tracks. In this uh, view, you're looking at my session view. This is Ableton Live. And what you're looking at is a few tracks I've set up. And in this video, I'm going to route the guitar tracks into one group so that I can control them with one fader, control their volume with one fader. Because when there are many like this, I have to keep scrolling to monitor the level of my microphone at the same time. When I play the guitar part, I have to keep looking at the um, guitar levels and I can't keep scrolling around like this. So I'm going to group them into one track for easy control and access to other tracks. After I've treated them and I feel confident with their sound, and what is left is to set um, a, a level for them where they blended. So a submix is like a mini mix, you know, in this case a mini mix of these guitar tracks into one track. But it is just a mini mix in an entire mix of this, you know, session. So to do this in Ableton, I'm going to choose, this is one of the ways, there are many ways, but this is the easiest I find. I'm going to choose all the guitar tracks I want in the group. Just do this. So now I'm choosing. Just watch. So I've selected three tracks. I want in one group to control with one fader. Right click. And now I've routed them to this new group. You see this means nested into this group. And I'm going to rename this Guitar Bass. All is done now. So now, at any one time, I can just close out of the individual guitar tracks, and at any one time, I can adjust all the levels of those tracks with just this one feather down here. You see it moving. And I can look at other aspects of the mix, for example, the lead and the vocals here. Ladies and gentlemen, as I was recording this um, tutorial, I felt confident and in control of my entire mix. I feel like this software is an extension of my hands right now. I can do with this anything I like from what I've just explained to setting up um, individual mixes for, you know, different people when we are recording. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate that. Um, until then, John Mary is my name. East Africa, Uganda. Thank you very much.